Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and I've got a quick video today showcasing some of the fun stuff you can do with Reason's brand new quad note generator. So we're going to take a quick listen to some of the fun ideas you can have when you start digging into it and taking advantage of some of the other Reason tools that are provided. Um, so I've just put together this really quick demo. Um, we'll take a quick listen to it, then we'll deconstruct it so that um, I can kind of show you what's going on. So uh, let's take a quick listen. I'm almost going to perform this somewhat live, not really, but a little live so that you can sort of feel what's going on. So let's go. So there you go. That's nothing crazy, nothing out of the world, but that is super easy to set up with the quad electric uh, quad note generator. Um, I would never make that as a final song, but I think it's a really inspiring way to get parts of your song connected or uh, created quickly to find inspiration and sort of jam on an idea and iterate from there. Um, before we go any farther, though, I just uh, recently upgraded the recording software that I've been using, uh, and hopefully it's making a better video for you guys. I know you've uh, definitely mentioned there's been some sound quality issues in the past, so if you could just leave a comment down below if this video sounds better, um, or just give a thumbs up even if it sounds better. And if it sounds worse, please let me know as well. Um, I've been definitely trying to take what you've said to heart. So, okay, let's look what we've got going on here. We're using two two quad note generators. One is controlling all of the um, melodic instruments, and one is controlling the drums here. So we've got a one of just the standard Rex patches with eight different drum loops loaded in. And so what we're doing here is um, we just we were hitting run, place a pattern, and then we start turning on the drum loop. Well, they're not working anymore. There we go. I just need to run. So they're not synced up at the moment. That's the problem. Let's uh, let's start this over. Sorry, I was hitting run without hitting play, which you have to do to get this to sync. So and I'm taking my finger off the key. When you see run come on, it's sort of just adding these quick fills. But it will also shift between the patterns. You notice when the yellow box jumps. So that's a really simple way to create more complex drum lines, even just out of simple stock loops. You basically have the ability to completely remix and rearrange them on the fly. Um, you'd obviously want to do it a little more detailed than that. But I think that's a really cool feature of this, and I think it's going to be really useful to taking all the loops you have in the past 
and remixing them. Even, I mean, you don't even have to select between the multiple loops. You could just be doing different slices within Rex because Rex, in case you don't know this, each of these slices here is actually selectable by a pad on the piano. The note generator actually just select those different slices. Um, so that's what we're doing on the drums. Now let's go to uh, this other quad note generator here, which we are using to control four different instruments. We've got the, the bass, sort of a simple harmony, a lead line, and chords. So I've used CV routing to control these three synths here. I'm using the gate goes to the gate and the note goes to the CV input. That's how you would plug it in. Um, and then from there, uh, you've just assigned, you know, channel one, two, and three, and done some tweaking off of the minor folksy patch. Um, so, oh, and then um, I just put in a four note change here. So it triggers that. Um, but let's mute this channel with the keys. So let's just start with the bass. Or we'll, we'll start with this one. So this one's mapped to the yellow, or the orange, I guess. So it just slowly evolves. You know, you'd want to add a touch more evolving stuff to it. This one is mapped with the bases. Mapped to green, which is the lowest. And then I've offset it lower so that it actually sits in the bass range. Uh, you know, you can... Now it's really low. But, you know, if you wanted it to be a lead, you could bring it up there. Um, and then we have this sort of complementary line in blue here. Um, so those are sort of the three lines that are connected by CV. And then I have this poly patch here, um, polyphonic patch. And this is actually being controlled by the quad note generator, which I then have running into the scales and chords uh, player, which I had to set to the same scale so that everything sounds copacetic. And then that's controlling this here. So you can see. Probably a bit too busy, but you know, that's just, you'd want to work on that. Um, probably simplify whatever we're speeding into it. So let's drop everything back in. Great if there was that. Mute all off on that. And this took about five minutes to do, and then you could like start coming out with a melody and stuff like that over it. Or if you wanted to go somewhere fun, you could go. That's a great trick you could use for a final chorus or a build up, just change everything up an octave. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it sort of showed you some of the things you can do with the quad note generator. This isn't intended to be a deep dive or anything. It's just sort of a, quick look at how much you can have fun quickly and easily with it and use it to jam out cool ideas. Um, and also let me know if you think this video is of a better quality than the ones I've been doing in the past. I hope it is, um, and I hope to keep on improving. So thanks so much, and be sure to subscribe for more Reason News. Bye-bye.